Figure Four Radio. 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 Lock it in. 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 Figure Four Radio. Hello everyone, welcome to Figure 4 Radio, it's the mastermind Ollie Spring, I'm joined by Luke O'Mac. Hello! And it's week two in our ECW pay-per-view uh, countdown? viewing countdown, ooh countdown's countdown? cool. Is, is that a good way to put I, it? I like countdown, Count- well not the not the show. <laughs> Actually uh, one, of my fr- one of my good friends, the guy who does all my music, he's recorded a heavy metal version of the countdown theme tune and it is <laughs> fucking awesome, right, it okay. is like yeah, it's like tech Fair metal. Enough. Um, okay, so we're here basically to watch um, every ECW pay-per-view or big show supercard thing on the network. Yeah, pretty much. We, last last week we watched uh, uh, Hardcore Heaven yeah. 1995. <laughs> um, so that was the very first, it was more of a supercard, it wasn't the first pay-per-view That's on the right. network. Um, it's a super, the first supercard. Um, I think it was probably on there for a, maybe two or three reasons. Um, uh, first, type A deathmatch. Type A deathmatch. Um, and Shane Douglas and his. Because that was when he was leaving ECW to go to yeah, WWE. The 20 minute promo of yeah. Off I Go. And this then could have been done in three he seconds. jumped back into the main event and yeah, he could have just said, yeah. by the way, I'm <laughs> off. See ya. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, that's potentially the reason why. I think the other one as well was the final match, which was. The uh, Gangsters and Public Enemy. Yeah. But that was, didn't seem like a big deal to no, me. No, I think that was just Blade, Blade, Blade. I, th- I think over. it was more basically for Shane Douglas, I think. Yeah. Um, so this week we're watching the second one chronologically, which is November to Remember. Yeah. Yep. Also from 1995. Yes, so this would, I'm assuming, only be a few months further down the line. Yep, that's exactly it. Um, there's, a, there's a few kind of big names again. Um, I think it looks like it's the first time we get Rey Mysterio and Psychosis. Yep. Um, which a lot of people have said um, was the turning point for ECW when they kind of, they were used to trash matches and when they brought in these cruiserweights from Mexico, um, the crowd ate it up and it's like but they're not doing all the they're not just hitting each other with weapons they're, I think it's they're like, putting on a wrestling match it's a bit like we said last week um, that Two Cold Scorpio and Taz's match was yeah. the pinnacle of the wrestling yeah. because it was technical and, yeah. and that, there was you know, moves yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> there's still a botch finish and whatnot. but that was the best match on the card by a long shot mm-hmm. because it mm-hmm. wasn't just I'm going to hit you with this chair or I'm going to cut you with this bit of glass yeah, yeah. Like, you know so yeah um for me personally, I'm actually quite interested yeah, in, yeah. in watching the match because I don't think I've ever seen it. So there's also a, there's also notice of, of um, a stunning surprise. development in the uh, yeah stunning surprise, yeah. Um, which will be interesting to see um, involving Mikey Whipwreck, um, as well as. Can you say that ten times really quickly with a lisp? What, Mikey Whipwreck? Mikey, <laughs> Mikey, Mikey <laughs> Whipwreck. <laughs> well, I was more thinking of a, a stunning surprise. Stunning surprise. Stunning surprise for Mikey Ripwreck. <laughs> um, there's also uh, and like Terry Funk and Cactus Terry Jack, Rank, um, Raven like, and Tommy Dreamer all in, involved in a tag team thing. Yep. Um, I think I'm, I, I'm looking forward to this. It I could think be good. This, this card sounds a lot better than the previous one. Yeah, and I mean, I think, yeah, I don't really, I didn't really dig uh hardcore heaven 95 it was a bit it was yeah, a bit, it was shit, a bit really. flat yeah not a lot happened so hopefully this one's gonna be better yeah. so we're gonna press play and we're gonna get into it so yeah let's just see what happens okay so match one um i want to say jobber versus jobber but that's it looks i don't it. know who they are is that the broad <laughs> is that the the broadway bruiser it oh we're about to find out Bubba Ray Dudley? What? It won't be the Bubba Ray Dudley, surely. Are you sure? Let's see. Is that Big Dick Dudley? That's Big Dick Dudley. Big Dick. Holding a Dudley's rule sign. Chubby, Chubby Dudley. Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> now there's Big Dick. It's... It's Bubba it Ray. Is Bubba Ray. Wow. Do you know who I am? He he's got like a really nice white tuxedo suit on. That's weird. But he's dressed like a hillbilly underneath. <laughs> this is weird. I'm um. Why is he the special guest ring announcer? Who knows? Because ECW. Because Paul Heyman. Yeah. Because bro. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a bit like a pimp. Like a, he actually does. Like, is he, like is he a, got a cane? Yeah, like a redneck pimp. Wow. 
Wow. I, he is the the classiest of the of the Dudley family. <laughs> but then you know, that's the he's up against snot, chubby, <laughs> chubby big, big dick. Big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ray's up against a big dick. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay, so Bob Ray he just beat the Broad him, Street bully. Even though that wasn't his match because he was yeah, he just was, the announcer. Yeah, okay, that's weird because But that Because was ECW. Down. Yeah, why not? Because Paul Heyman, because fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't even a match. He just He just gave him a power bomb and pinned him and that was apparently a match. There was no opening bell? No, there, no well, there opening, was a closing no, bell. That, there was? Yeah. Okay, so match one, Bubba Ray Dudley versus, versus a Broad Street Bully. Uh, no opening bell, no reason for happening. It happened. That was a bit shit. Yeah. Okay, so right, match two, we have Jason versus Conan. And Conan, of course, we all know. But he's in a mask, so we didn't spot him as he came out. But he looks like a beast right here. Yeah, he does look pretty... Pretty ripped, pretty jacked. So yeah, we got so Taz is the ref because ECW because Paul Heyman because fuck you. Um, I I can't see him doing much refing if I'm unfair. No, like, being honest. I I, I think Conan's going to steamroll him in this one. I look, he looks absolutely. He, look, he does look like he's about hundred pounds he, heavier than the other guy. He's and, like a Mexican Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> this is uh, this is literally just going to be a beat. There we go. It's over already. Oh, oh my! Wow. Yeah, that was quick. Squash match. Wow. Okay, so that was Conan versus Jason. He picked him up in for like looked like a border toss. Dropped him down as a power bomb. Crucifix power bomb. Crucifix power bomb. Yep. Fast count from Taz. So that's. Two ma I mean, we've been sat here for... We've been recording for 20 minutes. We've had two matches. They've both lasted the time it takes to take a piss. It's longer, it's longer for them to get in the ring than it is to yes. actually wrestle. Yes. Um, so we've got this. So next match... Well, <laughs> we presume next Dancing match... Dancing Steve Ritchie. Stevie Richards versus random guy in the ring. He was a rookie, apparently. I mean, so far, slow start. But from what I think, like, what I, what I noticed last night, me said we kind of, they put the shit matches on first and they, they generally build up. Yeah, so it's like kind a steady of... incline. Instead of it being like, a, a lot of like TNA, especially WWE, they'll start on a high, then they'll dip down and then they'll end on a high. So it looks more like a smile. Whereas ECW tends to just look like it just... an incline of a roller coaster as it's starting. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, oh, look, the blue meanies in the crowd. No man that big should wear <laughs> shorts that small. Short shorts. Okay, so match three. Stephen Richards. Stevie Richards versus... Oh, his name was El Puerto Riqueño, which I think means the little Puerto Rican. Um, <laughs> that was just a bit... Again, it was another two-minute match. It was uh, Actually, three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. So actually, let, just have a quick, a quick browse on Wikipedia right now. It tells us... The first match, Donny Allen and the Broad Street Bully fought to a known code, no contest, 1 minute 16. Bubba Ray Dudley beat Broad Street Bully at 15 seconds. I've just noticed there's, there, there is actually a list of all the Dudleys that are on the, uh, that, were, that accompanied him. So it's Big Dick Dudley, Chubby Dudley, Sign Guy Dudley, and Dances with Dudley. <laughs> Dances, Dances Dud with Dudley. <laughs> That's a good one. Was it? Um... Conan defeated Jason Knight in 15 seconds. Isn't that Jason Knight there walking Jason out? Jason Knight there. That looked like Perry Saturn. But that's Jason Cron Knight. Oh, okay, so, so that guy that just got his ass handed to him is now back out as the manager of a tag team. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and that match there, Stevie Richards beat El Puerto Requeño at three minutes. So we've had so far three, four minutes and 46 seconds of wrestling. And we've been recording for 25 minutes. <laughs> for four <laughs> minutes of wrestling. Jesus yeah. Christ. Because ECW, because Paul Heyman, because, because fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, that, right, that, that sat Perry Saturn and Cronus, which were the Eliminators, if I remember rightly. You'd know more than I do. I think, I, you know, I said this in the first week that 
you know, Actually, ECW's... this match could be quite good. So there's the pit bulls. So this is yep. the pit bulls versus the eliminators. So, match three. Uh, that was actually pretty good. It, ma yeah, wrestling-wise, it was a lot better than we've seen. Uh, um, another match finishing with a power bomb. Mm -hmm. This time from the second rope. Yeah. So, um, seems to be like an ECW standard finisher. Yeah, let's just hit everyone with fucking power bombs. Oh, and we have some sexual assault in the ring. And the pit bulls are doing nothing about it. Oh, and the first chair. First chair of the evening. Oh, actually, to say that's the first time a weapon's been introduced all evening, that's... They, I mean, you know, five matches in, it's not bad. 41 minutes? That's 41 minutes of pay-per-view before... Or a VCW pay-per-view before weapon shot. Yeah, and that's quite surprising considering Bubba Ray Dudley came out with a cane and that wasn't <laughs> used. But that, ma that match has some good psychology because there was that top rope Hurricane Rana spot that they hit and then they went for it again but it was counted that time which yep. shows that, that you can't just hit them with the same things over and over again. Exactly. Uh, the Pitbulls won but the Eliminators hit their finishing move um, after the match to kind of you know show they weren't completely down out so it kind of it keeps the feud going. Um, that was yeah. really good. As far as like you know basic storytelling I think it did it quite well. Yeah. You know, the match itself, like you said, was not that bad. Like, there was oh, technical so I, wrestling I, I've in it. I've given that three stars out of five. Well, yeah, maybe two and a half. Yeah, I think may maybe I'm kind of dumbed down a bit from uh, from, from it all. Uh, but the next match looks like we're going to get Psychosis versus Rey Mysterio Jr. Um, this this is a match that, that kind of introduced them to America I guess in many ways yeah um, I'm really looking forward to this um, I think this is going to be a really we fucking good match we were just talking match. about um, technical wrestling and I think this is this is going to be technical and it. high flying yeah yeah I can't wait for this one okay so Mexican death match you get the pin or submission but then it's then it's the last man standing match so it's last man standing but you've got to get a pinfall or submission before the, the, the count starts yeah okay In a way, I kind of think that might start them a bit because they, this is this should be a, a kind of a, a lot of a false quick, finishes, a quick high flying thing. We a lot of false finishes. Yeah, and you you don't then want to have, have all these quick moves, and you hit a really quick move, and then one, two, yeah, three. It kind of takes the wind out of it, but I'm we'll still hopeful. How they do it. I'm still hopeful. Well, your prediction came true. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, oh, no, but, well, that was, I thought that was a really fucking good match. Yeah, it was right. It was not too bad. Um, they start, I can't believe how quick they were when they started off. That was like... The pace was really insanely fast. Insanely fast. Um, I've, I've dropped down the pit bulls and eliminators to two and three quarters. And I think that's going to be three and maybe a quarter stars. Fair enough. But yeah, I thought that was really fucking good. Okay, so from what actually I this one looks fairly long. Yeah, from what so from what I gather, he said that the tag team titles are on the line, the television championship is on the line, but also the winner goes on to face Mikey Whitbreck for the ECW Heavyweight Title. Yes. So basically, if one if if one of the Public Enemy pins Two Cold Scorpio, they literally get. The tag titles, the television titles, and a world title shot like that. Yeah. That seems a bit much. It was ECW. Because, yeah, because ECW, because, because Paul, Paul Heyman. Heyman, because fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. the ending. And I the ending I is... I said this last week. What a screwy finish. Well, no, no, and but I mean, the finish was actually quite good because Sandman literally is unconscious. He fell on top of another guy and, and the ref the counted it. Um, so that's actually quite funny in a way. Look, it's like Sandman is like unconscious right now. Probably passed out drunk. 
Whereas Grunge just has no face. It's just, <laughs> just, just Johnny blood. Grunge is now Johnny Faceless. Um, yeah, that was a bit fucking messy, a bit sloppy. Nothing looked fluid at all. That was a bit. I mean, it went on for a while. Well, yeah, I think it's the longest match of the evening. But I think, to be honest, I think Sandman is probably one of the worst wrestlers of all time. I, str- I struggle to think of any wrestler that's worse than Sandman. Can we just uh, skip straight to that Bill Alfonso bit? No, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. Okay. okay, so Sandman's out and he's now being revived with beer. He's like a, a drunk hobo Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we just had a video package for this match, which uh, it's impressive, I think. Video packages uh, help sell a story and a feud, so... I think maybe also because it's for two non-wrestlers. <laughs> yeah, that's the... <laughs> Yeah, so every other big title feud with all these matches and belts and number one contenderships, nothing. You get a referee versus the commissioner of the company and you get a five minute VP uh, yep. building up the feud. That yep. is ECW in a nutshell right there, there I think. Wow. But this could be an interesting one. I mean, Bill Alfonso, referee. Um, he'll be the future manager of Rob Van Dam and uh, Sabu. Yep. Uh Todd Gordon, um, as you say, C- Commissioner Gordon, yep. if you will, um, not a wrestler. The referee, Beulah McGillicuddy, not a wrestler. Re- well, sort of, not really. Just, just a just woman. Just yeah, okay. <laughs> she's not as bad. At least she's got a name. She's not yeah. as bad as a woman. She just is she, was she like, looked like she was twiddling her belly button ring as if it was something uh-huh. else. Except Beulah's actually quite hot. Really? Compared to some of the other ECW um, ladies? In inverted commas. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to say skanks because that's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, so screwy match, screwy finish. But <laughs> everyone was nuts for that. They were going ape well, shit for it. I think they just it. hate Alfonso. Yes, yeah, true. He's a whiny little bitch. <laughs> it was, I, what was he called? A rat-faced excuse for a human being. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I said it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, I think that match was fucking awful. Neither men really knew how to do anything. They they couldn't really fucking even throw punches. No, it was like they can't see, but it was high. It was a high five. It was a high, high five fives to, to the, the face. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Yeah, Steve. Wow, I, I see stunning Steve Austin. Steve Austin with hair is fucking Scary. weird. Yeah. Really weird. Now, I think, if I remember rightly, playing WWE 2K16, I think this match was on the, well, on the, the game. story mode. Yeah, 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 on the story mode, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So Mikey Whitwreck beat stunning Steve Austin like by pulling, pulling his, his pants down yep. and having a handful. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That was like a 450 leg drop with a chair under his leg straight to the guy's face. I think he called That's it was the the Arabian Nights the, oh, face the, the Arab, Arabian face buster is where yeah. he was like a standing leg drop with a chair yeah. underneath his legs. But that was like a barrel roll cork like that was pretty cool. I mean the that finish was, was impressive. Right. Slow match. Yeah. Uh, quite hard hitting. Hack Myers didn't doesn't seem like the most agile of, but of, he kind of wrestlers. Of, you know, compared to the last match I saw him, he kind of held himself a lot better That's this time around. That's very true, but he could actually, have held him held himself much worse. No, it should be actually Pulled off some, you know. Yeah, it was so that's some his, offense. His and, little and finishing move, I think, the, the face buster off the top right, pretty cool. Yeah. I'll give him that. But yeah, not a, not a, not a terrible match. I don't think the best match on the card, but um, yeah, no. not not a bad match. But I think, like you said, when it actually becomes 
actual wrestling, we just seem to be a little bit quiet and actually enjoy yeah, yeah, it for what just, it yeah, is. Yeah, we, we kind of soak it up. Because we know the next match is just going to be... Well, what's the word? ECW. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, one match to go, I think. Yeah, that was the promo match. One match to go. I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's... Um, Tommy, Tommy Dreamer and, and Terry, Funk. Terry Funk versus Cactus Jack and Raven. Raven yeah. So four guys that I've, I, I quite enjoy. Yeah, this is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be a good match, I think. It should be. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's main event time. Yep. Tommy Dreamer and one of his real-life mentors, Terry Funk. Yep, versus Raven and Cactus Jack. I think, uh, you know, Raven and Cactus Jack, two guys, I think I secretly absolutely, well, not, well, maybe Cactus Jack, no, I fucking love Cactus Jack. Raven's a guy I've kind of, he's just he's just absolutely solid as far as I'm concerned, as far as both in-ring and character gimmicky yeah. psychological stuff goes. You get the feeling that when you watch Raven in the ring, he's thought through what he's going to be doing and he seems to know kind of what he's about. Well, you cheekily, uh, during our last, <laughs> well, our first and only so far mastermind, mastermind quiz, mastermind quiz. Um, gave us that round at the end where all the answers are Raven yeah, and yeah. Um, discovered Spoiler that alert. he's a member of Mensa. He so is. He's the only wrestler to be in Mensa. Yeah. He's so, a smart um, guy. Yeah. So he's going to have the psychology to, to actually plan as much as you can plan in a match like go. this. Now, this, this this match has got two of the biggest feuds in ECW ever. Terry Funk... And, well, actually, not, not even ECW. Just in Te general. <laughs> Terry Funk and Cactus Jack, um, that despite being tag team champions in WWF, you know, they had, you know, the death match tournament matches in Japan. Um, these guys, I mean, without Terry Funk, there is no Cactus Jack. No, exactly. And then at the same time with Raven and Tommy Dreamer, that was like the feud of ECW. Oh, that went on for... That was the entire, the entire of ECW, yeah. pretty much, I would have thought. Um, of, of, you know, Raven beating up the kind of preppy uh, jock of uh, in Tommy Dreamer, the popular guy. But didn't guy. Dreamer only ever beat him, like, once for the Something title? Something like that, yeah, yeah. It was very, basically, Raven always always caught his, called his number. Yeah. Um, he always kind of had him had him figured out. Oh, nice from Holy Funk. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Funk's just thrown a chair just from launched, outside the ring. Launched a chair. Straight into the back of Raven. <laughs> I don't think Raven even knew it was coming. He literally that was genius. blindsided him. That was great. Wow. No one bleeding as of yet. Oh, give it time. <laughs> So this match is kind of turning into a trash match. When, it, when he emptied that bin full of weapons into the ring, this is now turning into the sort of match I hate, where it is literally a trash match right now. It's yeah. like but you've this just is... got stuff everywhere. But this is the EC3? EC3? No? <laughs> <laughs> trouble, 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 trouble. That's exactly trouble. what this match is, this is trouble. Yeah. It's um, the ECW match you just expect. It wouldn't be yeah. a pay-per-view or a super card or whatever you want to call it without a match like this and like you know the last time round we saw um oh, saw the worst trash match at trash yep. match at the end yeah, 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 yeah it seems to be going the same way this time but it's just like they can't really like you can't is that you a can't, vcr that <laughs> it, it was a vcr now it's um scraps of a vcr yeah. But like, yeah, you can't. What's hang on? What's Cactus Jack oh. hitting the ref for? Oh wow, okay, that's Terry Funk just knocking the ref out just because. Is it? Oh, there you go. But like, you know, right now when there's this much junk in the ring, you can't really give anyone an Irish whip and whip them across any part of the ring. You can't give them a proper bump. You can't really give them a bump because there's nowhere for them to really land. Oh. Ah, golf club to the dick. Ow. Cheese grated to the head. Raven's the first one to bleed. Maybe from maybe from here on out, we should always put like we should like have bets running of which person in the main event is going to be the first to bleed. Yeah, I can. I, I would have that. I would have personally have said either Tommy Dreamer. I think I wouldn't. I'm I would have gone for Cactus Jack. Yeah. yeah. I would have put Raven as the first. 
But listen, there's only so many times you can just watch someone hit someone in the head with an object. Yeah. Like, re- I like wrestling for the physicality and the, the innovative moves. You know, you want to see different ways to throw someone around or, or, or strike someone with your foot or your, or your fist or, you know, fly at them in, in a way. This is just, I'll hit you in the face for a little while and then like, in a little sometimes, while. Sometimes, like... The odd street match to end a feud or, you know, some kind of big match where you might use the odd chair or whatever. Yeah. Fine. But there's, there's got to be purpose to it. Yeah. This Ra- just seems rather like than, every... Rather than, oh, it's been a while since I've been hit in the face with anything. Here, let me hit you in the face with something. Okay, so... That was that. That was the finish. Um, Absolute <laughs> trash match. Yeah, it's just... Nothing nothing really had any meaning to it. It was, yeah, weapons for weapons sake. I, I feel like as a main event, that should have been, oh my god, oh my god. But it was more kind of, yeah. Uh, uh. See, and this seems to happen all the time. Someone wins, and then they get beaten down again. Yeah. Beating up for beating up's sake. Um, I mean, that was that was better than hard uh, than Hardcore Heaven '95. Yes, I as think. an overall pay per view. Um, yeah. What was your, what was your favourite um, match? Um, probably Rey Mysterio and I think I think so too. That was and, easily um, easily the psychosis. best match um, yeah. of the card. I mean, it was interesting to see a few other people pop up. Um, you yeah, know, that's, that's the first match we've seen Sabu in, I think. Yes, um, it was. It was nice seeing. Um, Perry Saturn actually. Yeah. Without, yeah, I mean yeah, the mopping. eliminators and the, the pit bulls did a good job. Yeah, it was a fairly good match. Ray Mysterio and Psychosis stole the show tonight. Um And like you said, there was psychology in the match. There was Yeah. You know, there was reason for things happening and it was yeah. it was a good little match. Um so that that's that's uh November to remember nineteen ninety five. Twenty one years old this month. God I feel um, old. yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Um so that's two down. Uh that means there's twenty two to go. Nice. Um, we could we could be here a while. Um, yeah, if you if you, if you watched uh, November to Remember '95, let us know what you think. Um, if you if you've seen maybe just one match, I'm guessing it will be the uh, Rey Mysterio Psychosis match. But let us know what you think of it. Basically, um, yep. we are. If you if you listen to us on iTunes, then you already know we're on iTunes. We are on Stitcher. We're on Podomatic. We are on TuneIn Radio app. Um, Sound, no. SoundCloud. No, we're on SoundCloud. Yeah, SoundCloud. Facebook.com slash figure four radio. Uh, Twitter, iTunes, uh, not Twitter, uh, uh-huh. Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Twitter and Instagram. At um, figure four. At figure four radio. radio. And of course, the website figure four radio dot weebly dot com. So that's two out of 24 uh, ECW pay per view shows to go or done. 22 yep. to go. I've been the Mastermind Ollie Spring. I've been Luke Mac. And we will see you next week on figure four radio. Figure four radio. Suck his dick. <laughs> oh my god. That's a chant I've never ever heard at a wrestling match before. <laughs> if you're not down with that, I got three words for you. <laughs> Suck, Suck his, his dick. dick. <laughs>